there are four basic types of hominoids, four basic types, and those divisions are around size more than anything else, just size. You have the Bigfoot Sasquatch type, which are 8 to 10 feet tall and average in the range of 800 to 1,000 pounds. Then you have what's called the Abominable Snowman or Yeti type, and that is a distinct type. It's the only one of its kind, and they are more primitive than the others. They have different feet, and they're more, they're more ponged-like in their feet and in their behavior. They're more belligerent. So the Yeti abominable snowman, which are confined to the Himalayas, they don't seem to be found anywhere else, just the Him Himalayas, but the Himalayan range is taken altogether about the size of the United States, so there's plenty of room. So you have now the Bigfoot Sasquatch kind, the giant kind, you have the abominable snowman Yeti kind, and they are in the man size range, five to seven feet tall, 300 to 600 pounds, but distinct. You have another man size, five to seven feet tall, 300 to 600 pounds, that generically is called the Almas because they dominate in Russia. They're, so, they're the Almas, they're all Masti. They, there are hundreds of names for these things around the world. Understand that for the four different types, there are hundreds of names. And so somebody just had to pick, you know. So we sort of have picked the Almas as the type because they, so many Russians have done good work in this field. So sort of uh, a lot of the literature was written from them about their kind in the same way that Bigfoot Sasquatch has become the the name for the large one. So you have the Almas, five to seven feet tall, 300, 600 pounds. Then you have the pygmy kind, the Sadapas, the Agagwes, the Didi, the, you know, around the, the world. And again, they are about four feet tall in the range of three to four feet tall in a range of 100 and 150 to 200 pounds. They're all powerful creatures, no matter what their size is. They're different from us physiologically. They are primates like the, the gorillas and chimps. They're like gorillas and chimps that walk upright. That's all they are. They're, they have all of the outward physical characteristics of, of greater primates. Um, they, you know, starting with the covering of hair, but you have the heavy brow ridges, the lack of a forehead, the large wide flat noses, the mouths that stick off their face in the prognathous fashion, the lack of a chin, the very short stout necks that look like no necks almost, but it's because the muscles in the trapezius area are so much more built up because their, their arms are longer than our arms and they hang down around their knees and they're just so robust. They need more musculature. They still have the same number of neck vertebrae, but it's a different design because it's it's more compressed. They don't have the throat air, you know, the throat design that we have. So when everybody describes hominoids and they're seen all over the world, again every continent except Antarctica, on a regular basis, we get about 150 good reports a year here in the states on average. Um, so these these things are out there and the people who are describing them are describing with great consistency what they're seeing wherever they're seeing it. That much smoke obviously there's fire.